Well, thanks for that, Christine. I'm now joined by Maya and her family, her mother, Carm, her father, Gary, and her brother, Danvir. How are you doing tonight? Oh, we're good, thanks. Thanks for having us here. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, you've obviously been through so much throughout the last few years. Uh, what's it been like for you as a family? As a family, it's uh, the last few years have been a little bit difficult. Maya's going to be three this June 15th, and um, it's she's come a long way, but I found that... Uh, that first year after her open heart surgery was very difficult. I felt like half of our family was living at the hospital and our son Danny was at home with uh, my in-laws, but it felt like the family was split in two, basically, and it was a very, very difficult time. And she's got lots of energy now. She's energy very now. excited, as you can see. And you're spending a lot of time at the hospital. How is the treatment for you? Are you how are you treated while you're there? And what is it like to, to essentially be living there? You're right, we are living there basically. Um, it's getting better now because uh, she's at, in cardiology once a year and um, the medical genetics team is following her. She's followed up by quite a few different teams, um, ENT, GI, she's got a gastric feeding tube. So she, she's got a, quite a few different uh, teams following up with her. Um, all of them are just amazing. Every single department, every single doctor, every single nurse has all been nothing but amazing there. Yeah, and that's why it's so important. Gary, tell us a little bit about uh, what message you'd like to get out to the viewers tonight. If you could tell them anything, what would you like to say? You know what, without the, the staff and facilities at BC Children's Dada. Hospital, there's a chance our daughter might not be Dada. here today. So, so for that, we're forever grateful. And, and just, it's such a, you don't want to be there, but you know you're in such good hands. And that's why when we were asked to be a part of the telethon, we jumped at the chance just because we owe Children's Hospital our, our daughter. And it's just so great to be able to give back. And she's the uh, poster child this year. And I see, uh, if you've seen the posters around, she is um, wearing one sandal. Tonight she's wearing two, which is great. Which is very difficult <laughs> to keep those two shoes on for her. <laughs> I, I have that challenge myself sometimes. <laughs> uh, tell us about that picture. How does that sum her up as a child? That basically is Maya. She's just a happy-go-lucky girl. She's full of energy. And, you know, looking at her, you wouldn't guess after seeing all those pictures of her and after surgery, um, that she's even the same baby anymore, the same kid anymore. It, she's definitely very feisty and full of energy now. Clearly, you can see she's full of energy. She's loving life. Danny, can I ask you a question? What do you like to do with your little sister at home? We like to play cards, and we like to... We like to play soccer and dance and sing. And, and who... Do you want to say hi, Maya? Yep. Okay. Say hi. 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 Well, there you go. Hearing from Maya. And, uh, you know, we just want to thank you for being here. Uh, you've obviously been through so much, and it's challenging to share your story, but it's so important to get the message out there uh, to, to all the viewers who are out there. Um, so we really appreciate you being here and all the work that you've done for BC Children's Hospital. And just thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. We're now going to throw it over to Sonia.